quite a while ago I created a video on how to count conditionally formatted cells. And I mentioned that you needed to have your conditionally formatted cells formatted with a formula. I have received many people telling me that this just doesn't work. And what I have come to realize is that people don't know how to conditionally format with a formula. So the first step to conditionally format with a formula is you're going to select the range. So the first range I'm going to select is my horizontal range. So I've selected from 5 to 45. And now I'm going to go up to conditional formatting on my home tab. So now we're not going to go to the highlight cell rules. We're going to go to new rule here. And then we're going to go use a formula to determine which cells to format. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go equals in the formula bar here, equals. And then we're going to select the cell that is in the top, the top most left of the, the range that we have selected. So this is where it is. Now automatically it puts on uh, absolute reference. Now we want the absolute reference to be for the for the row, so that would be with the dollar sign before the six is fine, but we don't want it to be before the F, so let's just delete the dollar sign before the F. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a bracket in between the equal sign and the value, and we're going to say this, uh, this value is greater than greater than sign there, and I'm going to put in 27. So now that we've got our condition set, let's go to our format. And I'm going to go to the fill, and I'm going to select the red, just because I know which red it is. And I'm going to say OK and OK. So there, there you have the ones that are over 27 formatted in red. Now, I will include the, uh, the code for this, for this function in the description of my video, but let's use this function that I have displayed before. Go equals, equals condition, okay. So I've got count conditional formatting cells. And so now let's go and get the function key so we know what we're looking for here. And so the cell range that we're looking for is we're selecting the 5 to the 45 here. And then we're looking for what color. And so we select the cells here, which is the one beside our, um, beside our value, and we say OK. So now you can see that horizontally we have four cells that are conditionally formatted. So now let's do this with a range. So let's select the range that we're doing here. So we're selecting from here to there. Now I am going to conditionally format the same thing. We're going to go conditional formatting. We're going to go uh, new rule, we're going to use a formula to determine the rule, and we're going to go equals, equals um, opening bracket. Now I would like, let me look, um, let's say uh, greater than 13. Okay, so I am going to select the top left most cell in the range we, we selected. Now, in this case, we want to go both horse, or down and we want to go across. So let's take out all of the dollar signs on our absolute reference here. And we're going to go conditionally format. And we're going to go is greater than and let's say 13. And then we're going to um, close our bracket and then we're going to go to the format. And I'm going to select the red just because I know which color it is. 
and I'm going to say OK and OK. And so there you have your uh, the cells that are greater than 13 cover your or red red in the in the in the range. So now let's go use this same um, function to count how many cells in this range are uh, red. So we're going to go equals count count conditional cell colors. And then I'm going to go get my function key. And so the range that I'm going to select is right here to right there. And the color that it's selecting is right here. And I'm going to go OK. And there you have that it's 16. Now, just to show you that it's the conditional formatting by a, a, a formula that allows this to work, Let's select this range here from 5 to here. And let's go to the conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and let's say uh, greater than um, uh, greater than, uh, let's say, 51. Now, it wants to fill it with um, the light red and the dark red, but we want to use the same format as we've used before. So I'm going to choose the same red, and I'm going to say OK, and OK. And there we have the red in here. But now if we go and we use our format, or our function that we have here, so count conditional cells, and so then I'm going to go up to here, and I'm going to select the range, and the range is from here to here. And the color I want it to be is this red that we have been using all along. And then we go OK. And there you go. It's not, it doesn't, um, it doesn't allow you to count, it won't count them if you're using the highlight cell rules. So let's just delete this. And I'll show you how to remove conditional formatting. So let's go here and we're going to go conditional formatting, and we're going to go uh, clear rules from selected cells. Okay, so now with them selected, we're going to go and do the formula thing. So conditional formatting, new rule, um, use a formula, and then we're going to go, go. So we need to select the top left, so equals, and then we go opening bracket, and we go select this cell. Now uh, the the row is what is is going to change. So let's leave the D with a dollar sign in front of it. But we're going to take out the one the dollar sign before the one. Okay. Now is uh, we want this to be um, greater than uh, let's say sixty six. And then one more time, we go to um, the format and we select this one and we say OK and we go OK. So now let's go to our vertical, count our vertical. So we go equals count. And so if we go and get our function key so we can see what we're doing here. And so we want to select the range is from here to here. And we want the color of the range to be this one. And then we say OK. And we see that the 13 cells have been colored in those ones. So where you're going to do is to put in this conditional formatting function, what you're going to do is go to the developer tab. You're going to go to visual basic. And then you're going to insert a new module. And then you are, you're going to go insert and new module. 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy the code that I have in the description of my video and you're going to and then you'll be able to call up this function whenever you need to use it on this on this worksheet. So this is how you conditionally format so that you can count the conditional formatting cells. Please subscribe.